Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of RoboQuest. I hope you're doing well today, and if you're not, I hope this episode makes your day slightly better. We got a new unlock, Lottery Luke. I was looking for him the other day. I didn't realize we have to pay for him. So let's unlock Lottery Luke. Max deploys Lottery Luke, a friendly bot that can use your surplus wrenches to try to obtain gifts. Oh, that's amazing. We got so many wrenches, man. In today's episode, as you have seen from the thumbnail and description, we're going with the engineer and we're going full on blaster. We're going to get the elemental blaster, not sure which element yet. We're going to get the triple blaster, the scrap explosion, and then most likely it's going to be baby boom, because that's the only thing that assists the blaster any further. All right, guys, let's see how it goes. Uh, blaster damage, yes, please. We'll take the volcanic rifle. Volcano rifle. Oh, the new NPC. Let's play. One power cell. Okay, thank you. Smithing Joe's token. Okay. Another Smithing Joe's token. How many times can we play? <gasps> we didn't get anything? Oh my god, yes please! Uh, that is amazing, Spearhead. Yes. Yes, please. Perk, reroll token. That's actually pretty good. 36 wrenches. Okay, we basically got back whatever we spent. Well, almost. We're gonna pick up body bot. Ooh, and don't forget to... Take out the boys. The gang. The body bots. The drones. The whatever. The boys. We'll call them the boys. Let's go this way first. And body bot guys, I'm not gonna really summon him. Just uh, for bosses and stuff like that. Blaster deals burn damage. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Why not? Why were there so not many bots there? Did I kind of kill the kill them on the way? I'm not sure. All right, we're doing Gucci so far. Let's see what we get. Um, not the best thing to pick up on for the first perk, but it's one of the perks we need. So we're going to pick it up. Taking down an enemy with a blaster reduces deploy cooldown by 10%. Yes, please. We'll also take that. All right, and let's keep on moving. I like the volcano rifle, man. It's pretty Gucci. And it does quite a big amount of damage. Or maybe because it's an explosive weapon. It does burn damage and explosive damage. Two in one. Two in one. All right, off we go. Pretty good clear time. One, one minute and 40 something seconds. Right, let's upgrade the body board. And as you can see, if you read the affixes, at some point it says chill. Increase your cryo damage by 10%. This is not what we want. We'll take this. We want to reroll the affixes. Until we get this one. Hit. Increase your burn damage. Since we will be doing... That is Smithing Joe, right? 
how do we use this? Where is oh, that's smithing Joe. I see. Sulfate shotgun. Nah. Oh, that's a cool one. Transforms blaster into a ray, which can apply critical damage with 1.75 critical ratio. Holy. That sounds like a lot. Please. What the hell? Felt like my, my crouch button did not work there. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, let's go this way. I'm not sure if I like the Beluga Cannon. I mean, I like it, but I prefer the Volcano Rifle for some reason. Guys, I'm not talking too much because I guess I'm tired from work. How's your day, by the way? How are you doing? Hopefully you're feeling Gucci. But let me know, man. Oh, no. Also, guys, playing the Robo Quest every day, it seems that the possibilities and different things to try out are coming to an end. Maybe we'll look for a new game soon. But man, there are no games like Robo Quest out there. At least that's what I think. Shock damage. Oh, a blunderbuss. We'll take the blunderbuss. The blunderbuss is a pretty good weapon. Nice. Please. Thank you. This blunderbuss is pretty Gucci. It's pretty Gucci. Level up. Oh yeah. Alright, let's get the fantastic item. I'll get this. Performing a headbang marks all enemies within 6 meters. Yes, please. Um, Alright. Once again... <laughs> This is one of the perks we want, Baby Boom, but it's not what I would get if I had an option. Like, upgrading your blaster comes first, but since we only have one reroll and I'm actually getting the perks I will be using, I'm fine with that. Somebody else with less experience in RoboQuest, may be struggling if they start with these perks. Since they don't pro provide much value on their own. We'll take this, Rubber Duck, performing a headbone, increases fire rate by 20% and movement speed by 12% for 6 seconds. Then, we can't buy anything else. Alright, let's see how we do inside here. And this is where we can actually use body bots. Because we're staying in this room. For just a while.
Mm -hmm. Cool, what's that? A scout sniper. No, we don't want that. Come on, man. Nice. Shall we upgrade the blunt boss? Oh, we can. Okay. Okay. Let's see how we do. Deploy the body boots. Ah. Well, these first bosses, man, they're very easy, to be honest. I believe they're not a challenge at all. Maybe this, they should buff them on Guardian 4. I don't know. Increase explosion damage by 30% when hitting multiple enemies. Increase explosion auto critical chance by 15%. We'll take that. Because the, the first option was for multiple enemies only, whereas this option is for multiple and single enemies. So that's basically better. What, what the actual poop? What the actual poop? Two fantastic weapons. Are you freaking serious? We'll go with the Beluga Cannon, guys. Holy! We'll also get that. Can we upgrade? Oh my god. We should be dealing an insane amount of damage now. Because the Beluga Cannon is actually explosive. Projectiles are explosive, yes. And basically that means that when the projectiles hit they have a chance for a second explosion, which makes this weapon twice as better. I missed everything there. Very nice. Holy poop. We soon will not be seeing anything on the screen. Just explosions. Let's go to the rift room first. Ouch. Where the hell is the door? Mm. We could take that. Reload, reload speed, but a chance... A small chance to get burned. It's fine. It's a good item. It's a very good item, actually, because 5% is nothing. Right, we clear all the ads. Now, oh my god, where am I going? Now we go for the Goliath. Let's get the body bots out. Well, that was cool. Anything good, she increases known burn damage by 25% against burning enemies. Hmm. I'll take 10% energy weapon and the critical. Yes, please. Uh, increase weapon auto critical chance by 15%, which means we got like 20%. Yeah. Because we just picked up Miss B as well. Ah! Mm, they hit me. What a shame. No.
Oh, and a cool thing I saw the speed running guys do is this. Like you fire an explosive shot and you boost yourself just under you. I mean, I will master it eventually, but... Right now, I'm a noob with it. <laughs> See? Yeah, it's total noob. It's okay, though. We're starting to do pretty good damage. Oh, and I should have used the body bots. Alright. That was a fine clear. Oh my god. Can we get somebody from here? Yes, we actually can. We got most of them. Let's get the body bots out. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. I level up, guys. Don't you worry. I just l like leveling up after I've cleared a room or a section. Nice. Triple blaster. That's... One of the things we needed, Blaster fires two additional projectiles, but their damage are decreased by 25% and generate one less scrap on hit. Let's see what we get here. Atomic mushroom, yes please, explosions have 20% chance to have a bigger radius or 15% to have a smaller radius. And then this increases burn or explosion damage by 10%. We'll take that. And we'll upgrade the Beluga Cannon. Get this guy if we can. I took a lot of damage for some reason. Not sure why. It's okay, we will recover. Don't you worry, guys. Let's go to the rift first, as always. Hiya. Noise. Cold damage? Yes. I don't care about the taking more burn damage. Hang him above. So we'll take the cold damage because our beluga cannon deals cryo damage or cold damage. Ouch. Right, I think everybody's dead. Nice. Very nice. Right, we actually did a very, very nice. Wow. We'll take the extra rerolls and let's upgrade the Beluga Cannon. Ouch! Level up. Nice. I was looking forward to it. Fervor increases blaster. Actually, both are amazing, but we're gonna get the surpla sur blah, surprise blast first. Using blaster, a 30% chance to instantly recover its cooldown. 
Yes, please. Um, oh my god. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh my god, I missed <laughs> oh my god, I missed everything. I just missed everything. Ooh, full HP means we're doing pretty good shit. Get this guy ouch. And then this guy if we can. Yes. Guys, are you even seeing something? I don't think I am. <laughs> There's so many explosions going on. Wow. Did you did you guys see that? Like how many times did the blaster recover itself? That was cool. That was cool. I wish there was a way to increase that to a hundred percent. Can you imagine a blaster shotgun? Boom, 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 boom. Blasting everybody. That would be amazing. But two OP, yeah. 100% is not... It's too OP. I think Gucci, not really. Let's go. Oh man, that's gonna be so easy. That's gonna be so easy. Well, first let's deploy our body bots. And then change to Beluga Cannon. Ouch. Yeah, that's a lot of damage, guys. Wow. Wow. Increases explosion damage by 30% when hitting multiple enemies. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, not sure what the guy was doing to that uh, Ser. Kiri Coaster. Hmm. I'll take that. And this is a good one. Ostam taking down an enemy has 8% chance to trigger a mark explosion. Hmm. Increase fire rate and reload speed by 10%. Yes, please. Um, But still, it's cool, but not cool enough yet. Trust me, guys, it's gonna be freaking amazing. Trust me. Alright, let's see how we do on the Goliath. Get this guy if we can. I mean, not too great, to be honest. Not yet. Actually, I want to go this way first. To the green room. Let's get this increases million blaster damage by 30% against enemies with more than 90% HP remaining. 
That is absolutely amazing. Do you have anything to clear here? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Alright. Now we keep going. Oh, he managed to hit me, man. What a shame. Alright, let's level up. Um, chromatic blaster, that's the final thing we want. And, 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 and. and. So we go with cryo dodge. I mean, we've done a cryo near build. So let's go with fire. That is actually pretty insane. Let's take the skateboard, upgrade the Beluga Cannon twice. Amazing. Flower Pot. Yes, please. The Flower Pot got nerfed. It now reduces the effect of bad effects like Frost, Blind, Pack by 50%, whereas it used to reduce them by 70%. Big debuff, to be honest, to the flower pot. It was one of the best items in the game. I mean, 50%, I guess it's still one of the best items in the game. Oh, oh, oh. Let's deploy some body bots. Oh my god, I'm using my blaster. Hiya. Oh, yeah. oh, what the hell happened to my FPS there, man? That was pretty good ship, but I'm losing so much HP. Why is that, man? Where's the final Goliath? Amazing. Both are amazing. Increases Blaster autocritical chance by 10% and its critical damage by 15%. Amazing. Fun. Freaking fantastic. Now we can get this guy. I missed. <laughs> it's fine. We got this. And we go to the exit now. Amazing fun. Looking fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. We should recover to full HP now. And we'll take that, as well as that, and upgrade the Beluga Cannon. Yes, please. Well, that was pretty good. That is starting to get real fun. Ah! Real, real fun. It 
it's so satisfying to get those 30% chance blaster auto re reloads. It's very, very satisfying. Alright, I'll level up guys, don't you worry. Increase heavy weapons fired by 20% and their damage by 20%. That is a heavy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Fervor increases blaster additional projectiles by 2, but increases its cooldown by 2. It's fine guys, it's fine. We're definitely gonna take that. more blaster projectiles more damage means more damage who's that pokemon yeah that's a ninja we hate those guys. I can definitely feel the minus 60% movement speed on the heavy weapons. I'm moving very slowly when I use my heavy weapon. But it's definitely worth it, I believe. Ouch! Oh my god, I took so much damage there. We'll take the power cell, everything else. Kinda sucks for us. Alright, and where do we go now? We go to the exit. Or to the boss room. did okay -ish. we don't like any of these so let's go beetle royale hmm. not sure how we're gonna do hopefully we do ouch hopefully we do great Oh no! No! It's fine. Oh my god, we're not doing any damage. What the hell? We need the poppy, man. Because the only damage we do... Well, not the only damage, but... We do more critical damage. Than we do regular damage. Oh no, you don't. Oh my god, that was so close, guys. Using deploy increases your next blaster damage by 75% and radius by 75%. That's actually pretty amazing, guys. That's actually pretty amazing. Hopefully, though, we can get the poppy. That would be even more amazing. That would be fantastic. We'll take that. And that, yes please, more damage to bosses and more critical damage on your next critical after you get a critical. Um, not doing too well. I feel like I've lost too much HP. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? I didn't have anything, not not the blaster, not 
no weapon. That was kind of bad. Oh man, everything is on cooldown again. Where's my blaster, man? Well, we survived, but it was kind of close, guys. Not gonna lie. Alright, this is our final level. Level up, I mean. Elemental damage, no. Elemental damage, no. Blaster damage, yes, please. Um, need to get this guy. Oh, yes. That was satisfying. Who's pooping at me, man? That was satisfying as well. As well. <laughs> that was so Russian, man. My mom would be proud. Alright, for some reason we did better in this room. Now. We hope for a poppy, and we don't get one. It's okay. Upgrade the beluga gun twice, yes please. Upgrade the body boat, yes please. Um, wait, does body boat do plus 10%? Yeah, plus 10% burn damage. Oops. I was trying to hold my burp, guys, but I... But I couldn't anymore. Alright, let's see how we do. I mean, I've seen a, an Iris one shot on on discovery mode. Not sure if that is achievable on Guardian or. Oh, that's kind of bad, guys. She got so much HP left. And we're almost dead. Oh! We got a second chance. That is actually amazing. That is actually amazing. I forgot that. Do I like this build? Not really. I thought it was going to do more damage. For some reason. Right. Let's get the body bots out. And let's go. Ouch! Maybe body bot deals more damage? Nah, I don't think so. Oh no. Ah! Please! Are you serious, game? <laughs> well, guys. That's... Oh my god. Highest damage dealt 8.5k. That's quite a lot. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!